Watch space. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Right here, you goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Hey guys, welcome back to Alan Wake walkthrough on Hard Episode Three, Part Two. And at the moment, after that cutscene, we're about to get hunted down by the police. So we've got to try and escape. So we're running through the forest without a flashlight or a gun. And yeah, this is pretty cool. You can see, uh, I think the story is really starting to develop now as well. Well, halfway through, I guess. And things are looking, we're like getting a little bit more answers and some more clues are appearing. We can make more theories and I'm actually indecisive about what's going on. I kind of know, but I don't know who's behind it. Or I kind of have a loose theory, but I won't say. Because if I'm right and it's people just probably troll me for spoiling, woohoo! Go trolls. And yeah, so it's literally this bit is just sort of running away from these police and I sort of use the rocks to sort of hide from the light and stuff and uh, as you can see they try to shoot me but I'm faster than a whippet. So I get past them pretty quickly. And the soundtrack for this game is actually pretty awesome, as you can probably just hear in the background. It's definitely a game that I would recommend you checking out. I freaking love it. And I'm playing Red Dead at the moment as well, but I've got to say, I've, I've mostly just been playing on Awake, even though I do have Red Dead. Just because I know Red Dead so long, and I can't be able to go for it. Just yet. Not until I complete this one. Right, fully. So yeah, cool, you keep running straight, and you can't really miss this manuscript page coming up, because it's just like the only piece of glowing paper in the forest, and the Dark Present sleeps. Sleeps tonight, a wimble. So yeah, it's talking about like a Dark Presence being in Barbara Jagger's skin, and... I think it was Barbara Jagger, the woman that was in the funeral dress, is that what he was calling her? Interesting. Cool, so we're still on our escape. And things are getting mistier, darker. <laughs> Sweet, so that police car just got obliterated in some way or form. And as you can see, the attention spot is telling us to go the other way, but if we bust right, we'll. Uh, Catch up to a manuscript. Another one. Rose, didn't know Rose visited by the Dark Presence. We already know this. The woman showed her teeth. Because she's a weirdo. Pretty girl. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> That's from Dumb and Dumber, if you was wondering. <laughs> Well, the blind kids <laughs> stroking a dead bird with a <laughs> sellotaped head on. Classic stuff. <laughs> oh, too good. So yeah, we keep uh, keep going. You can hear the radio talking about Agent Nightingale, who's a bit of a fruit loose. Fruit loose? Well, a bit of a fruit. Yeah, he's a bit mental. Just, I don't think he really makes a good police officer. He's too... Too aggressive, hasn't got much patience. And like Alan says around this time, they're searching for a right. It's a they're searching for a writer, not a monster. Something like that. And they're getting wiped out by these ghosts and shit. So this, this chase is pretty fun, or well, at least I thought it was pretty cool. 
Because it is just you running and it's really the scenery that's doing everything around you. So I was trying to look to see if I could spot anything going on or... <laughs> Andy, no! You son of a bitch. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. I'm a police officer. Stop it. Um, <laughs> that's my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression for the day. <laughs> Looks like he got the point. Um, it's quite a loose impression. I wasn't putting 100% effort into it. You have to gain that. <laughs> so yeah, we're still on our escape. Four reels. And you can see this little helicopter is on our way to try and get us. And I'm using this gigantic rock as cover. And I thought, yeah, make a break. Make a break. It's cool. I mean, you can't really die in this bit. Well, I guess if you stood still, possibly. But what looked like a smoke monster from Lost appeared to have uh, ravaged the helicopter itself. So I can only thank the darkness there. Thank you, darkness. <laughs> Light is your friend. It helps you from getting mauled by dark things. So yeah, I thought I'd have a little look in this. See what's going on. See if I could spot any locations or next areas, etc. etc. Et etc. And yeah, in this little lookout tower there is a coffee for a mass. And also the night owl. Pat Main. Ah, oh, maybe it's not. It's just a normal one. So yeah, cool. We can uh you can move on now, Alan. Don't have to listen to this crap. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Move, god damn it! There we go. <laughs> Just a bit of force. That's all it needs. Cool, so I was just doing laps around this thing quickly. Always keep Alan in shape. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a dying. I imagine that the broadcast tower I got a frog in my throat or something. Radio station. Focus. Seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Cool. So we're on our way to Pat Main. And yeah, you can see this gate on steroids slash hydraulics. You coming at you. Ain't no one getting past that bad boy. But behind the back of this uh, ramp, <laughs> well, self-made ramp, probably by the darkness, if they did a uh, Alan Wake Skate Free kind of thing. <laughs> Start up the generator to give power to the massive light so you can destroy the gate, which was our next objective. That's pretty cool, you just go up to that massive light and uh, boost the hell out of it for the win. Totemo omoishiroi desu, as they say in Japanese. That's very interesting. It's like one of the only things I know. <laughs> well, I know, I know a few little bits, but not enough. I fox off your man for Japanese. If you have any questions, ask him. I just know like little bits from anime. So if I ever spoke to someone in Japanese, I'd probably sound like some form of ninja from an anime. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as we uh, head towards the radio station, I think we uh, come across some pretty cool shit. Like a hydraulic gate. And I can hear things coming for me, so I bust towards the flashlight. And not only a flashlight, well, for the meantime, just until we get past this gizate. That's street for gate, if you didn't know. But I just made that up, so don't start using that street. You'll probably get stabbed. And... <laughs> I'll do one at a time. But yeah, guys, that's the end of this part, so I shall see you in the next part. Hallelujah! Pick it!